Hello everyone, this is Pippin Williams with PippinsPlugins.com and I'm going to walk you through the process of creating a shortcode plugin that allows you to output an archive or a list of all of your authors on your WordPress site along with their, their names, their avatar, their bio, and a link to their author archive. Uh, so this is a pretty simple little plugin. We're just going to write it as a single shortcode that we can, uh, we can see it outputs like this where we have the avatar, the name, the description, link to their archive, etc. And we're going to use it in a page just like this, author shortcode. So I'm going to walk you through how to do this. It's all really pretty simple. Uh, for this example, we're not going to uh, do a lot of configuration in terms of we're not going to provide a lot of options or anything like that. It's just going to be pretty straightforward because what I really want to show you is how you would go about doing this. Um, and if you really want to expand it and utilize it or uh, release it as your own plugin or things like that, you're going to need to add a lot more options. But this is going to show you the basic workflow for how you're going to do this kind of thing. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so we have our blank file right here. Uh, and we can see if we go over here and refresh our page, we've now lost our shortcode and it just says authors right there. So that's great. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write our function that is going to be connected to our shortcode. So it's going to be pippin underscore list authors, just like this. And then we're going to add short code. One of the things I like to do when I'm writing a function like this or a plugin that is going to uh, add a short code is I like to wrap the entire function first. So write the shell of the function. So we're going to write the function, then we're going to add the short code. And now we're going to go into the body and slowly write it. So we're kind of working out inwards. Uh, so the first thing that we need to do inside of our function is we need to retrieve a list or an object of all of the authors inside um, inside of WordPress, or excuse me, not authors, not an object, um, an array of all the authors. So we're going to use the get users function. Uh, this is a nice little function that allows us to retrieve users uh, in WordPress and allows us to uh, pass a variety of parameters to it. So we're going to pass an array of parameters. Uh, the first one we're going to do is called order by, and this is just going to allow us to sort the order. Uh, sort the authors and we're going to order them by display name. So this is going to order them alphabetically based upon their display name. The display name is what the author has chosen in their profile as how they want to be displayed on the site, how they want their name to be represented. So sometimes it's a username, sometimes it's a first, last name, last first name, only the first, only the last, etc. Um, so then uh, we don't actually need to specify a number parameter. We're going to do count totals is equal to false. We don't need to do that. And then who is going to be equal to authors. So this basically means we're going to go and retrieve all users that have the ability of authoring a post. So this is contributors, authors, editors, and administrators. And that's it. So that's all that we need to pass for our get users function. Uh, there's a whole lot more parameters that this function actually takes. Uh, and if we go here to the get users function in the codex, you'll actually see them. So we have blog ID, role, meta key, value, etc, etc, etc. So there's a whole bunch of different ones that we can get. Uh, but we, we only need to specify these parameters. So now we're going to do a simple if statement that says if authors, like that, and if. So we only want to, to show anything if we actually have authors retrieved. Um, we're also going to set up a blank variable up here called list. And this list is going to be the variable, it's a string, that will contain all of our HTML for our author archive. And then return list at the very end. So basically, this is going to be blank. If we have authors, we're going to modify list. And then at the end, we're going to return it. So if there were no authors, this is going to return blank or nothing. If there's authors, then we're going to modify it. Okay, so if we go look and see what this does live now, See, our shortcode is gone because WordPress has recognized that we have a shortcode registered, but there's nothing to display for the shortcode. So now we need to go in and actually start building our list of authors. So we're going to set this up in an unordered list. So list.equals, this means that I want to append the following content to the string, which is going to be a UL of a, with a class of author list, just like that. And now at the bottom, like I said, I like to work outwards in. So we want to go down to the bottom and we want to close our unordered list, just like that. So list, open, and close. And now 
inside of this unordered list, we're going to do a for each. So for each authors as author. So basically we want to loop through all of the authors we've gotten and we want to do something for each one of them. Okay, so now inside of that, we're going to once again, we're going to set up a list item class equals author. This is just going to allow the class is just going to allow us to give a little bit of styling to uh, to each of the authors. Oh, oh, I actually have a syntax error up here. Missed a dot equals dot equals. Once again, we're going to work outwards in, so we're going to go ahead and close the list item. And there we go. Okay, so if we go in and look at our page now, uh, we see we have one, two, three, four blank list items in here. Um, and if we actually go into our dashboard, go to users, we see that we have four authors here author, author, contributor, administrator. So that's good because we see four here and we see four in the back end. That means we've gotten all of our users. So now what we need to do is we need to simply output some information inside of the list item for each of the authors. So let's set up a variable real quickly that is called archive URL. So this is going to be the URL of each author's archive. So this is git author post URL then the ID of the author, which is author ID, just like that. Now, um, let's output the, the avatar for the author, which is using the git avatar function. The first parameter is going to be the email of the author. The second parameter is the size of the avatar that we want. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what this looks like now. Okay, there's each of our gravatars, so we see that the first and the last have an image set, and the, in the middle two don't, so it's using the default one. That's great. Okay, now let's go ahead and set up uh, the name of the author. So if you remember, we had the name of the author set right here next to the image, so we want to output that. So we do list.equals, then we're going to set up an anchor link, so a href equals, this is going to be the archive URL just like that. Um, and let's set up a title attribute. So this is what's going to show if someone hovers their mouse over the name. So this is title equals, I'm going to localize this view all post by space. This is the domain for the localization. Then I'm going to output the author's display name. So author display name. Just like that. Okay, so now uh, for the actual text that I want to be linked, we want to display the author display name again. Just like that. And now we can we can close the, the anchor tag. And there we go. So let's go refresh and see what that looks like. Okay, so now we have Jimbo Taylor, John Thompson, Kim Doe, and Pippin. So we can see if we hover over each one of these, it says view all posts by their name, just like that. And if we actually go to one of these, it'll take us to the author archive. Um, or, no, it doesn't, because I screwed something up. Ah, we see, if we highlight this, we'll see that these two are not the same. So I actually got the uh, variable name wrong. So now if we refresh, if we look down, we click here, it'll actually take us to the author archive. So it says articles posted by Jimbo Taylor. Well, he doesn't have any posts, so it's not going to display any. But now John Thompson, he has one, and my user has one. So we can see that this will take us to the author archive for that individual author. Okay, so that's good. Now we want to add a little bit more to this. We want to display the, uh, the bio. So the bio is anything inside of a user that is entered in the biograph well, biographical info. Uh, in terms of what it's referenced in the database, it's called the user description. So we're gonna do list dot equals. We're gonna throw this into a paragraph tag. So p class equals author bio, just like that. Um, and now we're gonna use the git user meta function. The first parameter is gonna be the ID number of the author. The second one is description. So I just said that the biographical information is called description in the database. And the third parameter is true. This function works exactly like the get post meta function, uh, if you're familiar with that. And then we'll close out that author tag, that p tag. 
So that is going to retrieve the description for this individual user ID, and it's going to wrap it all on a paragraph tag. So let's take a look at that. Great. So we have their image, their name, and their description. And you can see these descriptions are a little bit different for each one. That's because I put one in. So if we go to uh, take a look at this user, so this is uh, Jimbo. So we see here's his uh, author, his bio right now. If we add in a word at the very end, test and update them, we'll see that it shows over here, test, just like that. Great. OK, so now I want to add in a little bit more. We want to display a link at the bottom that's kind of a read more link or uh, go to the author archive for this author. So we're going to do list dot equals. Uh, we're going to do another p tag, class equals author archive. And then we need to set up another anchor link, a href equals archive URL, just like we did above. You can see we have this one, this one, and this one. And then we're going to do the same title again. So I'm just going to copy all of this information here like that. And then we close out the p tag, and there we go. So if we refresh now, we should see, whoops, I actually should change this. This should be something along the lines of this. View authors post. And once again, I've just localized it um, for translation. So there we go. Now it says view authors post, view authors post, etc. And we can go to any one of these and it will show us the post. Okay, so that's it. The only thing that we need to do now is we need to add in some styles. Okay, so that's pretty easy to do. Let's just load up a style sheet. Uh, if you're using WordPress 3.3 uh, or later, which there's no reason you shouldn't be, you could do something really cool. Uh, WordPress 3.3 introduced inline style and in script loading. So right here inside of our shortcode function, we can do WP on Q style give our style sheet a name, and then the URL to our style sheet, which is plugin dir URL, the file constant, just like that, slash CSS slash author list dot CSS. Great. Okay, so now if we go ahead and uh, create that file, or in this case, actually, I already have it open. Uh, it's author list dot CSS right here. So I'm not going to, I won't write all the CSS out for you, but I'll walk you through what it does. So now we refresh because we've got that style sheet loaded and now everything looks great. Everything's nicely aligned. We've got our author archive URL over here on the right. We've got our, our image floated to the left, etc. So all I'm doing with this CSS is just uh, making the list items a display block, setting them up with some margins and actually that could be zero now. Uh, I'm doing a clear fix on the LIs, floating the image to the left, and that's pretty much about it. So it's really, really simple CSS. So there you go. That is creating an author archive shortcode that allows you to list all of the authors on your site in a page via a shortcode with their image, their name, their description, and a link to their author archive. This is a really, really simple implementation, and you could go much further and much more advanced than this. You could specify a bunch of parameters for your short codes. You could do um, a whole bunch of different things like that. You could actually go in here and list some of the posts for each of the individual authors. You could include the post count for each of the authors. Um, you could specify, you can only show authors who have more than zero posts. So only show them if they have at least one post. There's a whole bunch of different things that you can do, but this will really get you started. So using the get users function uh, and a simple for each loop, there's a lot of things that we can do that's really, really cool. So let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.